In the UK alone, one in three patients admitted to hospital as an emergency have five or more conditions. One in three adults suffer from multiple chronic conditions. The new BMJ Best Practice Comorbidities Tool supports the management of the whole patient by providing guidance on the treatment of acute conditions alongside pre-existing comorbidities. BMJ Best Practice is the only clinical decision support tool to do this. Treating the acute presentation alongside existing conditions enables healthcare professionals to quickly treat and stabilise patients with comorbidities. This improves the quality of care this means better clinical outcomes, shorter hospital stays and fewer readmissions. I think it doesn't hurt to start thinking about comorbidities at the very beginning of a person's admission. Clearly there's the first hour of treatment where it's important to get the emergency treatment into a patient whose possibly life-threatening illness has to be dealt with. But as soon as the situation is settled, doctors in charge of that person's care need to recognise that the comorbidities that person possesses may firstly change the treatment algorithm for that patient and may impact upon how long they will need to be in hospital and what level of specialist input they might require from other teams to make sure that they get a good outcome. Let's look at how the comorbidities tool works in practice. An 82-year-old man comes into the emergency department with an acute exacerbation of COPD. He also has type 2 diabetes. Having searched for COPD, the doctor goes to the topic summary page and selects the treatment algorithm to find advice and guidance on management. They are prompted to consider their patient's existing conditions. They are alerted that treatment options may be affected by the selected comorbidities. The selected comorbidities are shown at the top of the screen and affected treatment recommendations and urgent considerations are clearly indicated by the comorbidity symbol. When the doctor selects the treatment option, the adjustment is highlighted with recommendations based on evidence and expert opinion. There are also helpful tips and prompts in this case, when to consult a senior or specialist team. If the healthcare professionals recognise the comorbidities at an early stage and address them, the impact on that patient's stay in hospital will be significant. It will be a better experience for the patient because things are unlikely to go or less likely to go wrong. And if they do go wrong, they'll be picked up at an early stage, reducing the length of stay. Linking BMJ best practice with comorbidities, I think, has been a fantastic innovation. I wish I'd had this when I was a junior doctor. <laughs>